Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. Today we're going to work more with fractions. We did addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and now we're going to put it all together. And let's see what Charlie's up to. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> we're doing more with fractions. Woohoo! Oh, you think this is fun, huh? What? Well, you better think this is fun. Anyway, here comes a fun problem right there. That's right. Oh, what fun. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Four-thirds subtract three-fourths plus five-sixths. Now remember, we can't add or subtract fractions unless the denominators are the same. Therefore, we need to find the lowest common denominator, which is actually the lowest or smallest number that all those de denominators divide evenly into. So, Charlie, we have a three, a four, and a six. What's the smallest or lowest number that a three and a four and a six divide evenly into? 12. Very nice there, Charlie. There's our lowest common denominator. So, this should all be review. Now, Charlie, four thirds. Multiply top and bottom by what? Four. Four, very nice. Now, the three fourths. Top and the bottom by what? Three. Three thirds. And the five six? Two over two. By two over two. Very nice. Okay, Charlie. 4 thirds times 4 fourths. 16 over 12. Very nice. 3 fourths times 3 thirds. 9 over 12. Okay, and 5 six times 2 over 2. That would be 10 over 10. 10 12. Very nice. All of our denominators are the same, so now we just have to work with those numerators. 16 subtract 9 plus 10, Charlie, all over 12. And now, Charlie, what's 16 subtract 9 plus 10? 17. 17 over 12. Circle or box your answer, and there we go. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Negative two-fifths plus three-tenths, subtract five-fourths. All right, Charlie, what's the lowest common denominator here? 20? Very nice there, Charlie, it is 20. 10 does not work because four does not divide evenly into 10. All right, Charlie, here we go. Now, negative two-fifths, multiply top and bottom by what? Four. 4, because 5 times 4 is 20. Remember, that's what we want in our denominator. Okay, Charlie, 3 tenths, top and bottom by? 2. Very nice. And the 5 fourths, top and bottom by? 5. 5. Very nice there, Charlie. So our first fraction comes out to be what? Negative 8 over 20. Very nice. What's 3 tenths times 2 over 2? 6 over 20. Very nice. And 5 fourths times 5 over 5? That would be 25 over 20. Very nice. All of our denominators are 20. Let's work with those numerators. We have negative eight plus six, subtract five. What do you get for that numerator, Charlie? All right, time's up, Charlie, what'd you get? Negative 27. Negative 27, that is correct. All over 20. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. Now remember, negative 27 over 20 is a negative number because a negative divided by a positive is negative. So Generally, what we like to do is put the negative in front and just say it's negative 27 over 20. It's the same answer. So, let's move on, Charlie. Here we go. Negative 1 fourth, subtract a negative 5 thirds. Ooh, don't get scared. This is just subtracting a negative number. And remember, Charlie, remember, subtracting a negative number is the same as adding the opposite. So, we will end up with an addition there. All right. That should be review. Now, before we get started, let's find our LCD. What is it, Charlie? 12. 12, very nice. So, negative 1 fourth, multiply top and the bottom by what? 3. 3, that's right. And notice, when we subtracted negative 5 thirds, it now changes to plus 5 thirds. And what do we do with the 5 thirds, Charlie? Top and bottom by what? 4. 4, very nice there, Charlie. And so what's the first one? Negative 3 twelfths. And the second one? 20 over 12. Very nice. Let's work with those numerators. Negative 3 plus 20 is what, Charlie? 17. 17 all over 12. Very nice. All right, Charlie, let's continue on. 4 over x subtract 3 over 5. Don't get scared. Here we have a variable in the denominator. We just thought we'd throw one in just to keep you guys in line, especially you. Okay, I'm gonna help you out with this, Charlie. 
what do you, well, by the way, what do you think the denominator, the lowest common denominator is? 5x? You know, Charlie, that is right. <clears throat> 5x. <laughs> Most people just see it and say, well, 5 times x is 5x. Yes. Remember, the lowest common denominator is the smallest quantity that both denominators will divide evenly into. And here, we need an x to be divided into that 5x, and it will work. So let's work it out. Notice we have 4 over x. Now, what do we multiply top and the bottom by, Charlie, to get that LCD, to get that lowest common denominator? 5, five because x times 5 is 5x. Five and so the 3 fifths, Charlie, what do we multiply top and bottom by? x? x, because 5 times x is 5x. So it's kind of easier to see once we put the work up, right? OK, Charlie, <clears throat> what's 4 over x times 5 over 5? 20 over 5x. 20 over 5x, very nice. And what is 3 fifths times x over x? 3x over 5x. Very nice there, Charlie. So let's work with those numerators. 20 subtract 3x all over 5x. Now, we cannot add or subtract when we do not have like terms. So here, 20 subtract 3x you can't subtract because they're not like terms. It's like 20 apples take away 3 peaches. You can't, you can't do that. They're not like terms. So that actually is our answer there. We'll talk more about these quantities a little bit later in the course, but that is your final answer. You can't combine or you can't reduce. All right, Charlie, let's do a couple more here. <clears throat> Four thirds divided by three halves plus five thirds, Charlie. Now we're kind of throwing things together here in that we have a division and an addition. Now remember, we got to change a division to what? Multiplication. That's right. And the three halves we changed to? Two thirds. Two thirds. That's right. We don't change anything else. Bring down our work. All right. Now, order of operations says we have to do the multiplication first, right, Charlie? Okay. What's four thirds times two thirds? Eight ninths. Eight ninths. That's right. Plus five thirds. Now, we can't add the fractions because the denominators are not the same. Therefore, we need the lowest common denominator. Charlie, what's the smallest number a nine and a three divide evenly into? Nine. It's a 9, so our LCD is 9. We don't have to change the first fraction. We just need to change the 5 thirds by multiplying top and bottom by what, Charlie? 3. That's right. And so we have 8 ninths plus what, Charlie? 15 over 9. 15 ninths. Very nice. We'll work with those numerators. 8 plus 15 all over 9. And now, Charlie, what's 8 plus 15? 23. And so our final answer is 23 over 9. We can't reduce, so we'll box our answer right there. All right, Charlie, here we go. Two fifths plus eight ninths divided by four thirds. Remember, we're going to change the division to multiplication. So we'll bring down our work, change division to multiplication. What's the reciprocal of four thirds, Charlie? Three fourths. Very nice. Now, we still have to do that multiplication first, but we can reduce. What can we reduce, Charlie? The eight and the four. That's right, the eight and the four. They're both divisible by four. We can also reduce the what? The three and the nine. Three and the nine. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, what is eight divided by four? Two. That's right. Four divided by four? One. Is one. Okay. And let's reduce the three over nine. Three divided by three is? One. And nine divided by three? Three. Okay. Very nice there, Charlie. So now, Remember, we have to do the multiplication first. What's two-thirds times one over one? Two-thirds. Two-thirds. Okay, very nice. Now, again, we need our LCD. What is it, Charlie? Fifty. Very nice. And so the two-fifths multiply top and bottom by what? Three. And the two-thirds by? Five. Very nice there, Charlie. So let me bring us home here. We now have six-fifteenths plus ten-fifteenths. All we have to do is add 6 plus 10, all over 15. And what's our final answer, Charlie? 16 over 15. 16 over 15. Very nice there. So that was a review of all of our fraction work. So, oh, what fun. <laughs> Next, we're going to come back and we're going to do some Kung Fu fractions. All right, Ooh. Charlie. We'll see you all again soon. <laughs>